Welcome back reloaders. Today we're going to celebrate the fact that my freaking Bushmaster actually cycled and we're going to give a shout out to TX512 Outdoors for commenting. Why don't you try an H3 buffer you dummy? I did some research. I couldn't really find anything. Every discussion was about, well, the buffer and the spraying system and it's all tuned from the manufacturer so you don't need to go out changing your buffer unless you're using a suppressor and so on and so forth and adjustable gas blocks. And if you need to adjust your buffer, then something else is wrong and check all this other nonsense. And you know, it was a big rabbit hole that basically said the heavier buffer is gonna take more energy to move than a lighter buffer. So that basically contradicts what you think would happen where a lighter buffer would move faster and sooner because it's lighter and easier to push. So it would take less gas to do so. However, the heavier buffer keeps the bolt locked in place long enough for that gas to actually build up to its peak pressure before sending the bolt back. So it is a good thing we opened up our gas port just a little bit. I'll be able to finally start tuning some loads and actually shooting for accuracy now, but I switched over some optics. So now I've got a one to six LPVO vortex on there, a Strike Eagle. It's pretty handy. I figured that would, uh, it's more suited for a Bushmaster's type of role, you know, inside of a hundred yards. That's golden for me and that's all I need. But we switched over to that and let's get sighted in at 50 yards. So here was the very first shot when I had switched it over to the gun. It was on a 5.56, so I figured it might be in the ballpark, hopefully somewhere on the paper. So I just tried the first shot and that was it. I adjusted down, I think a mil and left about a mil. And then we got this sort of cluster here. After that, we tried to make an adjustment up and to the left, but we went too far for these two. And then I moved back down and right. And so this was our final shot at 50 yards here. I think that was 10 shots. So then we're gonna go ahead and step it out to 100 and let's see what that looked like. So the stinking H3 buffer actually worked. Shot 15 rounds so far successfully, so shooting a group at 100. Gonna be luck, though. Ew, so that's not too hot, but actually the uh, scope has some BDC drop kind of thingies and I was actually, instead of holding dead center here where it would be centered at 50 yards, I held on the second line to see where that would actually line up at 100, which seems like a pretty good holdover. You just, you know, I'm zeroed at 50, move up to 100, Next line, I'll try that, see if that hits somewhere at 200. But anyways, we'll notice our load kind of looks like poo. Here was our first shot, I think these two, three, four, five. And then I adjusted again, left, and I think a click or two up. So then final five shots of the day, which is on the camera here, one, two, three, four, five, roughly, I don't know, five inches at 100 yards. I know that's not impressive, but we were testing cycling, which is what I'm excited about. So, woo, cycling. Yeah, look at that, four and a half inches. Woo, that's, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's definitely going to hit a, uh, a target at 100 yards, whether it's got two or four legs. So, at the end of the day, it'll probably end up working. But now we can freaking tune it since we tried the buffer. So thanks again, TX512 Outdoors, for that simple comment that uh, I never thought of. No one else mentioned it. Everyone said, check your magazine, check your gas port, check, uh, try, try different powders, crimp your stuff harder, la 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 la. And I'm sure all these factors help and it all adds up to a cycling gun and all that. But uh, all it took was the buffer. Quick look at the brass. Primers are still pretty round no signs of pressure here and you're not going to start to see pressure at the 35 to 38,000 psi of the bushmaster but our brass looks good we could even work up a little bit if we like to uh, if you remember several videos back when i didn't get function i was still testing higher charges and uh, we 
They had roughly the same group sizes regardless of the charge weight, so I just need to learn how to handle the recoil and maybe we can fine tune this now that it's actually cycling. So, very cool. Thanks for tuning in. I hope if anybody else has functioning issues, maybe try a different buffer. I found one for 15 bucks. I forget where it was, but it wasn't like 50 or 60 or any of these expensive ones. If you dig around online, you can find one for cheap. I think with shipping, I paid under $20. So that's a pretty simple fix compared to uh, maybe drilling out your gas port or buying an adjustable gas block if you hog it out too far, so on and so forth. Thanks again. We'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.